The study uh, was a global study um, and it randomized over 300 ALK positive patients uh, from around the world uh, between about 2014 and 2016. Um, patients were randomized one to one to receive either electinib as their first treatment or crizotinib as their first treatment. Um, and the primary endpoint of this study was uh, progression free survival based on investigator assessment. So I think it's important to note at baseline that the patient's characteristics were well balanced uh, between the electinib and crizotinib treatment arms. Um, and importantly, it should be noted that about 55% of patients in the ALEC study in each arm were non-Asian, um, and that about 40% of patients in each arm actually had CNS or brain metastases at baseline. Uh, so a pretty significant proportion of ALK positive patients, even at diagnosis, um, will have brain metastases. So these patients uh, were treated with either electinib or uh, crizotinib, and uh, the, the primary endpoint of the study was met. Um, so electinib was found to be significantly superior to crizotinib. Um, based on investigator review, the median uh, progression-free survival with electinib was not reached, um, but with crizotinib it was about 11 months. And the hazard ratio was 0.47 with a very highly statistically significant p-value. And that hazard ratio uh, actually corresponds to a 53% reduction in the risk of progression or death with electinib compared to crizotinib. Um, in addition, uh, we had independent review as well of progression-free survival and the PFS by independent review was also significantly longer with electinib compared to crizotinib. Hazard ratio again, 0 0.50. Um, we had a number of secondary endpoints that we looked at in the study. Uh, one of them was uh, time to CNS progression in all patients um, who enrolled in the study. And this is a very important question because as I mentioned earlier, out positive patients have a high incidence of brain metastases. And they have a high propensity to relapse in the brain on, on crizotinib. And so we evaluated this uh, particular question and we found that electinib treatment significantly delayed time to CNS progression um, compared to crizotinib. And in this particular case, the cause specific hazard ratio was 0.16. So this corresponds to an 84% reduction in the risk of having CNS progression as the first progression event. So very significant, um, I would say impressive activity of electinib, both in treating CNS metastases, but also in preventing CNS metastases. Um, another important uh, secondary endpoint to mention is uh, the intracranial response rates. Um, and here we found uh, that electinib induced higher CNS response rates, including rates of complete CNS response, and also longer durations of CNS response.